Hi guys, uh, welcome to this Vue.js video. This is the first video and we are going to start this project. I will explain to you from the basics to advanced level how to work with Vue.js. So presently I have uh, my SAMP running. It's on the 7.2 version. You should have your SAMP set up. Now I have a SAMP folder where in htdocs folder I have this sky folder. Now this is going to be the project uh, folder for us. And I already set up a virtual host on this one. So you can follow this link, this guide, to set up virtual host if you want to set up uh, to access the folder, Sky folder, uh, or any name you can give instead of in place of Sky. So, so far, I'm typing sky.test, and when I hit enter, it takes me to that folder. Presently, that folder doesn't have anything, so it doesn't uh, show us anything on the browser. So what I'm going to do here, I am using this sublime text and uh, I already selected, let me reselect this. So I will move this uh, and I open, I go to application in my SAMP directory, htdocs and we don't, I deleted it by mistake so I just go here and I create that and I select, I open this. Now I create a file inside it. It's going to be index.html. I'm going to save uh, this file. You can directly save it. Just type the name and Control S. It will ask for saving. You can save it. It goes straight into the folder. Now I'll type HTML and then tab. It gets the syntax. This is the feature of Sublime. So we have this right now. Now if I go to the browser and refresh here. You can see we get blank instead of error. You know, if I put anything here, it should come up there. So I say, uh, hi guys. So I save that and refresh. So to add the view, we need to go into view website. So I go there, just type view, and we are here. And get started. You can get started, you can click on the installation. So hit there. Now we have development version and production version. So while you're working and developing an application, you need development version. It will display you the errors, warnings. It will help you in debugging. It is more heavy because it has all those warnings and debugging features. And the production version is a lot lighter. And it doesn't show you much warnings and uh, uh, debugging features. Uh, it is just going to work mainly for the purpose of your application it will not help you in debugging. So for the development, we need this. For CDN, you can look here. I go in this development because I want this file. So what I do, I say Control A to select everything and then Control C to copy. I go to Sublime and in here, I create a folder and give it a name of uh, JS. So I just added the folder. Now I create a new file inside that folder. It's going to be view.js. I save that. Now I delete this and type paste all the Vue.js code. You can see that it's 11,000 lines. So it's much of code. So just cross that. We have our file present here. That's what we need. Now I need to include that file in our this index.html. Uh, let's give this page a title view project and I say here script and source is equal to going to be js slash v dot js and I'm gonna save that. Now by saving this if I go to the browser and uh, refresh the page inspect and go into console uh, we're getting an error here it says corrector encoding. To resolve this error, we need to include uh, two line of code uh, that I can uh, paste in our HTML. Uh, I give it just above the script tag, just like that. Sorry. Save the file. Refresh the file. That error goes away. Now we added the Vue.js file, so it, it recognized that, and it's saying you're running Vue in development mode. So you can see that in your console by uh, right-clicking, then inspect element, and what mood you're on, uh, in, and uh, you can uh, go accordingly. So here, what we need to do, 
to use the Vue.js, we need to open the script tag uh, here. Uh, so while this is script, and inside script, we need to instantiate. Uh, we need an instance of uh, view. So to do that, we need to we, uh, use a syntax, and that is new. And uh, we say view, and uh, we just say this way. That's it. That's how you get the instance of view. Now, what we need to do, we need to tell our browser uh, uh, the JavaScript, like what element going to be uh, working inside the view, because the view will be working on a tag, a dev, or HTML dev. So what I do, I create a dev here, and I give it an ID of app, and this I'm telling now. So, so this div of ID app, I need to tell the view in, uh, instance that uh, we need to work, we need to use our view features inside this div. So to do that, we will say element, and element name going to be ID of app. Now this is not something that you need to put the app name. You can put any other name if you want. It's totally up to you. You can put any HTML inside this. And uh, this is the way of successfully uh, assigning the div uh, element to the view instance. So if we refresh the page, we are not getting error. So it's totally fine. So if I go here and if I change this, and I refresh the page. We have you'd say cannot find the element because we defined app here and here it's single p. So we need to save that and refresh the page, and it goes away. Now let's deal with the data uh, because after all we are going to work with the data. So to do that, we uh, put the next element. It's going to be data, data object. So we define it this way. Now any variable you want to use, you can define in here. So I say, let's say, a title. And we are saying hi guys straight away, but I don't want that. I want it rendered through view. So I put it in here and I save the file. Now to show in here the syntax is uh, double curly braces, then inside we just type title, save that, refresh. I can see nothing changed. If I say hi guys, welcome to this course now save that go there and refresh we get our output rendering from here so this is the way we do it so element is something you need to define this way and the data uh, you need to define this way this is the object which is going to take all the values so if you need to show anything on your page you can use this way so if I, you can change the values types as well. You can, uh, presently we are providing title as a string. You can provide array as well. So if I say uh, players, and then in players I say, let's say first player is uh, Roger, and the second player is uh, Manu. So I can access this. So just like that. I go there and I put at the bottom. We're just picking the title straight away, but here it's an array, so we need to say players, and then we need to say which value we need. So if I say one, save that, and refresh the page, we get money. So the similar way we can uh, work with the objects as well. So instead that of uh, array, you can define uh, objects. So if I say here uh, members. And similarly, we need to define the values. So I say first member, and it's like first. And I say king. And then I say second. And it's going to be queen. So to display this, what we need to do, we need to go into the same way. Yeah. And we need to say, instead of players, this time we are uh, to say members dot first and if we save this and refresh we get king now that's how you print the values now remember because we are doing everything inside the ID of app this is rendering 
and because of that. So if I copy this outside of the app, save the file, refresh, you see it's not rendering because uh, the view is just working on that particular element. So anything goes inside this needs to be working according to the view file. So this is how it works. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will go further and see what else we have in view. Thank you.